What's up guys, Bobcat325. Yup, I'm back at it again. On the, uh, the concrete pad dig. <laughs> and, um, so yesterday I, you know, had to get set up, got all my equipment out here. Uh, had to mark it up. They wanted silt fence up on the low side over here going to the neighbor's yard because it's a little bit of a of a hill it's hard to see on camera and then his yard is pretty much uh, level on the other side all the way out so if we had rain and you know stuff could wash over there but they, they uh, it was in the plans they wanted silt fence so we're gonna put it in just just up to where it the next neighbor's land is is uh, the elevation is higher uh, than the property I'm on over here so that's that's all they wanted so I got everything all set up machine and then yesterday I excavated the uh, all the sod out of the area and then he and then I, I went wider because he had you know over 20 30 years um, his his you know and from all the animals like moles and groundhogs I guess he had a lot of problems his his uh, grass here was all lumpy and he had some big humped areas uh, so he, I had to cut everything down and level it first and then over there on his driveway the, the edge of the driveway it was all eroded from years and years of uh, rain and you know how it is uh, basically it really actually made the asphalt driveway droop down especially on, on warm days and the weight of the vehicles over the years uh, like a good in, good inch or so under the asphalt on the edge started to undermine I mean that, that's how much it was eroded out so I, I took probably you know eight or ten uh, bucketfuls of material here uh, and uh because i'm hauling everything out but i put a whole bunch over there and compacted it down uh and built it back up basically like it's supposed to be um so i did all that so now <clears throat> i'm set up to uh start the excavation for the concrete pad i gotta excavate uh I set up um, for eight inches because it's only going to be four inches thick concrete because you know it's a pad for a shed and then uh, he just wants it's uh, the plans they just want four inches of uh, processed stone compacted and then you know vapor barrier and you know first compact everything then make vapor barrier and um, wire mesh and some rebar uh, well, it's it, and I guess the guy knows what he wants. He's he's afraid over here, in, you know, in the northeast where we live, we get cold winters. Of uh, he's afraid of uh, like you know crack, uh, concrete cracking and stuff. So he wants basically it's a monolithic pour, so like a good foot in all the way around. Uh, he wants to go down a good foot. So it's going to be thicker on uh, all the way around, and then, and then it'll, then I'll slope it up to the uh, to the to the regular um, elevation we need, um, so we can pour it. So basically, a, a foot deep all the way around, and then. You know, basically as wide as the bucket all the way around. And then I'll slope it up gradually to, to the level that I need it in the middle. I guess basically it's like almost like a slab on grade dig. Um, but yeah, that's what he wants. It's a heavy duty setup here. Alright, let's do some digging. I got the mason dump here. Because it's a tight area, I didn't bring the bigger truck, uh, and I'm not hauling far, so...
right guys again thanks for uh, watching the video subscribing um, I've been busy which is a good thing but yeah so back on this uh, come out too many excavator today and that's what I'm doing the rest of the day I'll make another video soon of this job thanks again we'll see you on the next one